If you are still writing code or using visual automation platforms like NADN, Zapier or Make, this video is a must watch to make your 2026 a better year. So let me not waste your time. There is one skill that let me build something in two hours what used to take me two weeks. And the best thing is it allows you to charge 5k for an afternoon of work. So I used to be deep in code and NADN. And believe me, I spent hundreds of hours learning how to code in university and then for clients projects. I made countless automations and it was fine for that time of being. But to be honest, in the last few years, I just haven't wrote a single line of code. And also, I did not use NADN for anything. So let me explain you what I replaced it with and why it changes everything. So here's what most people do. They see that make.com is hot. So what do they do? They go to make.com and learn it. Then Zapier looks interesting and they start learning Zapier. And then in the last year, everyone was talking about NADN. So everyone just started learning NADN. And then six months later, they just learned a lot of different tools. And you are watching this video, so you are probably looking for a better way. And what I just said about all the tools might be you. And learning all these things might feel productive, but it's not. So the trap is you are learning tools. And tools change. So let me be direct with you. NADN, make.com, Zapier. These are all visual builders. You drag and drop nodes and you connect them. It looks powerful and it feels productive. But here's the thing. We now have AI. And AI can think in our own language. The language that we've been speaking from the moment we were born. So everyone can do this. But we just started learning visual automations a few years ago. But now AI has become so advanced that we can just explain what we want. And AI. I can write that actual code where with NADN you connect notes and those are actually also code but NADN is just a wrapper around code but with AI we can create an end-to-end -end system we have back-end work we have front-end work authentication databases everything and where visual automation was really a bridge for people who were not technical to still build automations that bridge is currently collapsing because now we can just explain what we want and ai gives us something better faster and more flexible so nadn is really just a skill with a ceiling and this new skill that i'm talking about does not have a ceiling so you might be wondering like what is the name we have code, we have visual automations, but this new thing is called agentic automation, where it started with terms like vibe coding, prompt driven development, AI native building. I think agentic automation is really the next step, but you know, the name doesn't matter. It's just about you describing what you want and AI builds it for you. And it is not just a fancy workflow. It's actually a complete application. And the best thing is where you previously needed to drag and drop 50 notes around, it is all now possible within one prompt maybe two maybe three but you can get really far with just a few prompts so even your annoying manager with no technical skills can explain what he wants and let ai create it for him and a lot of people still think that this is hacky that this is a shortcut for prototypes only but it is not this is exactly how software gets built now very quickly if you're enjoying this video and learning anything from it please make sure to like and subscribe so in my other videos i really explained a lot about this I created a lot of different systems with just one prompt. And then when I wanted it to be different, I just instructed it to change the complete application towards something that was closer to my goal. And these systems were actually complex. They were solving real problems that real businesses have. And sure, there are a lot of different ways to achieve the endpoint. So with the AI models becoming better and better, your development rate will go up with that. Where if you are learning NADN, your skills will obviously go up if you practice it more, but nowhere near the rate of AI development. So how do you actually get good at this? There are three things. The first one is you really need to understand how to explain systems. So most people just start out with really bad prompts, like give me a CRM system for my business. You need to understand that is not a prompt, that is just a wish. In a good prompt, you are very detailed about what you want. A CRM system, for my business it needs to accomplish this and this these persons are using it these features it should have so the skill that I'm talking about is clarity number two understand the stack you don't need to learn how to code you just need to understand how to put the pieces together so we have front-end back-end database APIs users 
payments and a lot of more things but you need to understand the ones that are needed for your project obviously when you are just creating a workflow you don't need payments but if you are creating a workflow and it works so well why just sell it to one business when you can also sell it to 20 if you want to learn this properly check out build loop the link is in the description and number three is the most important one build every day actually stop watching tutorials just go out and build and i know this sounds weird because you wouldn't be watching my other tutorials but just try it be resourceful nothing bad can happen from it you maybe blow a few credits but that's it build something that solves a problem that you have just start out and see what is possible because then in the weeks after that you will have a lot of moments where you see something happening and you're like hmm we can do this better i can create an automation for this and everything that you build teaches you something about how to prompt and what works and what doesn't there are no shortcuts here the reps matter so let me now very shortly explain why this matters i mean you could just make your workflow in nn but the thing you gain here is speed and speed is so important right now because everything is moving faster and faster so when you can create with ai you obviously develop very fast so when you create something that is valued at five thousand dollars you can still charge five thousand dollars you don't need to stick to your hourly rate if you are bringing value to the table why not charge for it but also you have a lot of more freedom because everything you are creating is actual code you are not trapped in an ecosystem like make.com or zapier it is all yours so here is the reality and is a great tool make is fine and zapier works but they are tools from before AI could build complete applications. And you know, the world changed, but the tools didn't. So you have a choice. Keep learning visual automation or learn the one skill that actually matters. And you know, I'm just a guy sitting in my room talking about AI. You don't need to listen to me. This is just my opinion and what you do with it is completely up to you. I am just telling you to be resourceful. Think about your skill set. Think about what is happening. And based on that, make the best choice possible. So if you want to learn all of this properly, check out Build Loop. The link is in the description. It's everything I know about building full AI apps with front end, back end, automations, everything. And if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and then I will see you in my next video.